In Teamwork Desk, tickets are your means of communicating directly with customers who have any issues or need any help with your company. Using tickets is really simple and intuitive, so let's have a brief look at them now. So here we are in the dashboard and if we want to view our tickets, we just need to go up here and select the tickets tab. So looking firstly at the left hand side here and we can see all of our inboxes. So up at the top here, we have our smart inboxes. And if you want to learn more about creating smart inboxes, check out our smart inboxes video. And below our smart inboxes, we have the rest of our inboxes. So within this category, we can view just tickets assigned to us by selecting my tickets here. So we can view new tickets, we can view closed tickets, and we can create a new ticket on behalf of a customer. So below my tickets, we have the unified inbox. So this consists of all of the tickets across all of the inboxes that you have access to. So again, we have the new tickets, tickets assigned to myself, tickets assigned to other agents. We have our emergency tickets, on hold tickets, solved tickets, and closed tickets. And again, we can create new tickets on behalf of the customer within the unified inbox. And here we can see the remainder of the inboxes that we have access to. So I have access to the sales inbox, sales support, staff, and support inboxes. So looking at the middle of our window now, and we can see all of our tickets across all of our inboxes because I'm in the unified inbox here. So we get a bit of information on each ticket here in this window. So we can see the customer's name, the inbox that the customer sent the ticket to, the ticket title, we get the beginning of their ticket message, we get ticket tags, we can see who's been assigned the ticket, the ticket identification number, when the ticket was created, and when the ticket was last updated. We can also quickly perform actions on one or more of these tickets by selecting the checkbox next to the ticket name. So you can see here that for this ticket I've selected, we can go up here and choose to assign this ticket to one of our agents. We can set the status for this ticket. We can implement any of our triggers for this ticket. We can add tags for this ticket. We can move this ticket to another inbox and we can also choose to delete this ticket if we want to. So let's just deselect this ticket now and up here next to customer, you can see that we can choose to select or deselect all of our customers. If we don't want to select all of our customers, but let's say we do want to select the first four customers, we can easily do that by selecting the first customer and then going down to our fourth customer, then holding shift and click. And now we've quickly selected those four customers and we can take any of the actions mentioned previously that we want. And this will affect all of those tickets selected. So let's just deselect those customers now. And over here on the top right, you can see that we have a drop down menu here where we can add a new ticket. We can add a new smart inbox and we can add a new regular inbox. We can also slightly customize our interface here. If we select the customize columns option here, you can see that we can alter which columns we want to be displayed in the tickets window. And not only that, we can go up here and select edit and alter the order in which the columns are displayed. So you'll see there that I just switched the subject and customer columns. So we can just switch that back, select done, and then leave the customized columns option. So now that we've looked at the ticket window, let's have a look at a ticket itself. So now looking at this ticket, you can see here that we can quickly reply to our customer. So let's just add our reply in here. And you can see here that we have several formatting options for our ticket reply. So we can look at the source code for our reply. We can undo and redo any actions. We can change our font style. We can use bold, italics, and underline. We can alter our text alignment here. We can add unordered and ordered lists, use outdents and indents, add horizontal lines, insert links, we can remove links, we can add images, and we can use canned responses. And if you want to learn more about canned responses, definitely check out our canned responses video. Down here you can see that we can also drag and drop files to attach them, or we can just browse our computer for those files. As well as being able to add replies which our customer can see, we can also add notes, which our customer cannot see. So it's a great way for agents to communicate with each other on a ticket directly without the customer being notified of this information. So you can see here that Vic added a note earlier on, and it's easy to spot a note due to this yellow background here. So if you wanna add a note, you just need to go up here and select the note option. And again, we have all of the same formatting options here for adding notes. Similarly, we can also choose to forward this ticket information. 
So we can choose to exclude the ticket history here or we can include it. Up here, we just need to add the email address and then we can add our message here. So for the moment, I'm just gonna go with the reply. And when we're adding our reply, you can see down here that we can alter the status. So we have active, emergency, waiting on customer, on hold, solved and closed. So I'm gonna change this to solved. When replying, we can also alter who this ticket is assigned to. So you can set this to be unassigned or you can assign it to a specific agent. So I'll just leave that as assigned to myself. And then we can send our message. So we can send and stay on this page or we can select this drop down here where you can see that we can send our message and then go back to our inbox folder. We can send our message and stay on the page or we can send this message and go to the next open ticket. So I'll just leave this as send and stay on page for now and select send message. If you look up at the top left here, you can see that our ticket status has changed from active to solved. So again, we can just quickly change that here if we want to. Similarly, we can change the agent here and we can change the priority. Over here, we have a running timer of our ticket. So once any activity has been made on the ticket, such as a reply or adding a note, this time can then be logged in Teamwork Projects, which is a very useful piece of functionality. And over here, you can see that we can add tags for our ticket. Again, we can use triggers. And if we hit the settings cog here, you can see that we can follow this ticket. So we'll receive notifications of any activity on the ticket. We can add tasks in Teamwork Project for this ticket specifically. We can delete this ticket and we can also view a series of keyboard shortcuts which can help make your life easier when using tickets in Teamwork Desk. Sometimes when we receive a ticket, the customer may have created a slightly misleading title. So we can easily change the subject for a ticket by just clicking subject here. And then we can just alter our ticket subject as we like, save our changes, or in this case, we can just cancel that action. We can also see the ticket number here and a useful piece of information when creating replies or notes or even forwarding anything for a ticket is that if we're not quite finished with a reply, we can easily save what we've done as a draft here. So let's say that I'm trying to add a note here. So I'll just quickly add a note here. So if we go up here, we can delete this note completely or we can just save this draft. If we scroll down now, we can see the full thread of our ticket. So this starts with our customer asking a question. So you can see here that we can quickly quote our customer. We can permalink, we can forward this message, we can edit the customer's message and we can delete the customer's message. So up here you can see our note. We can see here that Vic applied a trigger. We can see that an automatic trigger was also applied. And then we have the reply that I created recently. So that's our full list of messages for the ticket. If we go over to the tasks tab here, again, we can quickly add a task for this ticket in Teamer projects, or we can see any tasks that have already been attached to this ticket. So let's just have a quick look at a ticket which has tasks in Teamer projects associated with it. So here we are in another ticket and here we can see an example of a task in teamwork projects which is associated directly with this ticket so we can see whether the task is completed or not we can see who's assigned the task we can look at the task title when the task was created we can view the task in a new window we can unlink this task from the ticket or we can delete the task entirely we can also see the project that this task is a part of and the task list so once our ticket is resolved, we can easily just complete this task also within desk. So you don't need to go to Teamwork Projects just to complete that task. So moving on from the tasks tab, we can see the customer history tab here, which shows any previous tickets that the customer has created for your inboxes. So we can see here that we get the ticket title and the date the ticket was created. We can also see a stream of activity if we select the activity tab here. So within the activity tab, we can see the agent involved, the agent's action, and when the action was taken. So looking over at the right hand side now, and you can see several options here. So if we just go with the first one here, the customer info drop down, so you see the customer's name, their profile image, we can change the customer, we can view the customer's ticket history, we can see their email, and if we click the pencil icon here, we can edit the customer's profile. So moving on from customer info down to ticket options. So we can quickly move this ticket to another inbox here. We can alter the ticket type. We can alter the ticket's priority and we can alter the ticket source. So if we've made any changes, we just need to select save. 
And now let's have a look at the followers dropdown. So here we can quickly search for our agents and add them as followers for the ticket. So I'm just going to search for Vic here and I'm going to add Vic as a follower. And we can quickly remove him as well by just selecting the X icon next to his name. So moving on from followers to time tracking so we can see any time logged by our agents. So we can see the total time logged and we can see how much of that time was logged as billable. And again, we can edit our time logs here using the pencil icon. And that's it. That's all you need to know about tickets in Teamwork Disk. Really easy and really intuitive, but very, very powerful.